Well, hello, Scorpio. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. All right, Scorpio, we're going to go ahead and get started with your reading. We're going to see what we have for you guys today. I also have some um, other cards here that I've already pre-shuffled. We're going to be using those as well today. So let's get to it. This is for Scorpio. Let me see. I don't feel it yet. Let me see. Okay, let's see what we have. This is for you, Scorpio. Ooh, Ten of Cups. This is really good to see. Now, I feel like you guys are going to be, if you're not in love right now, this is pretty heavy. If you're not in love right now, you're about to be. You guys are about to be in love. Ten of Cups is like emotions overflowing. Okay, there is some type of, um, connection that you guys are entering in or that you guys are about to start feeling and it's going to be deep, deep, deep. Some of you guys are already in a committed relationship. That talks about that as well. But to me, this is a feeling. Some of you guys are going to be feeling like amazing when it comes out to our love, love relationship. Oh yeah, I see commitment throughout this whole reading. Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. The same thing happened with Capricorn. Yeah. So I do see a lot of, um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of, you know, money, stability, commitment. I just see in general, I just see a marriage. I see long term. Now we're going to see how this is going to work for some of you. This is going to be everything. This is going to be, this is what you've been waiting for. This is going to be everything. Okay. Especially if you guys have been, you know, in this mundane, you know, stillness where there has not been love in your life when the only thing you've been doing is just working taking care of your family and you have not felt this just you know crazy feeling of love you're going to feel that okay but i really do see that this is uh this is this is it what i'm saying so we're going to go ahead and see what this is how this is working for you this is for scorpio oh yeah the hierophant I see long-term committed relationship here. I see commitment. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. Okay, all right. Here with the Eight of Wands. So I'll say it this way. Um, the Eight of Wands is a good cycle. You guys are going to be in a good, good cycle when it comes down to relationships. You guys have options. So, you know, even though this is on a board, this is, I feel like there's decisions that you guys have to make when it comes down to love. Some of you guys, I feel like there's two different people that you're dealing with. Um, and this is really going to be about, you know, who you want to be with for the rest of your life or who you feel comfortable with um, or who you're just going to be in totally in love with. So a really good cycle when it comes down to a love relationship. This is going to turn into something very serious here. Okay. King of Pentacles. This is someone who's loyal, you know, um, someone who gives, you know, stability wise. I see sta a stable financial um, situation as well. This is just really good. This is good. Let's see. I have the Six of Swords. Hmm. Let's see. And a two of wands. So I do feel like for some of you, this is someone that you guys haven't talked to. For some of you, you're at a distance. This is, could be a physical distance or emotional distance where this is going to bring someone into your life. This is someone that you could have known um, or someone that you've been talking to and maybe you guys haven't connected. But the two of wands really is moving forward. You guys are moving forward. Also, you see it with the eight of wands. You're moving in this direction. Um, I, I really do see partnership. You're moving in the direction of partnership. For some of you, this could be with someone new. This could be with someone that you guys are already with. Oh my goodness, yes. This is marriage all the way, hands down. Okay, <laughs> this is marriage. If you haven't talked to someone in a while, I see that you guys are gonna be communicating with someone Um that maybe, like I said, maybe from your past, because there is some distance here. The Six of Swords talk about maybe uh, making some type of reconciliation, making peace, compromise, okay, with someone that you haven't talked to in a while. But I see long-term committed relationship hands down in your reading. Yeah, Seven of Cups. So this is about a choice. Some of you guys are, you know, you got a choice between who you want to be with 
Okay, you guys have been dealing with different people. Five of Cups here. What is going on with this? Some of you guys are in long-term committed relationships that you're not happy in. I think I've said that before with you or another sign. And there's something else that you guys are wanting because the Seven of Cups is an option. Even when you look at this person, this person is like, what should I do? What should I choose? There's confusion here. But there's also sadness, especially if you're in a long term. There's some unhappiness in this energy. Oh, some of you guys may walk away here with the Ten of Swords from something that has been. Um, it could be a long term committed relationship. Some of you guys are turning your back on something. Let me see. Yeah, but there's commitment coming in. It's one cycle ending and another beginning. There is going to be a long-term committed relationship here. But it's like some of you guys, it could be your person, it could be you. Some of you guys are just not happy right now. So I think individually, you guys have to figure out where are you emotionally right now, no matter if you're with someone or not. You know, what is it that you want? Uh, because right now, it does look like there are some decisions that, that need to be made here. Yep, because there is going to be something serious in the future. That's what I'm saying. We're going to go ahead and pull some of the cards that I talked about earlier. Let's get it. Here with the star card is something that you're hoping for. Generally, when a star card comes out, this is saying that you don't have something. What is it that you were wanting? What is it that you don't have? The Ace of Pentacles talks about an opportunity. This could be about a job. Your money is going to be sweet. OK, because some of you guys are just sad and depressed because you, you, you don't have any money right now. But when it comes down to your money, that is definitely going to improve. But if we're talking about a relationship, this should not be coming out in, in, in your reading if you're in a relationship right now. Now, if you're not in a relationship, it will make sense because you want something serious and long term. But for some of you, you guys are in a connection. Some of you guys have children. But here with the star card, what is it that you're wanting? OK, um, it says you're about to take a big, big leap forward with your life. Worry will be replaced by optimism. Fear with hope and joy is coming to root. So I'm listen, so much happiness is here. So whoever is in this place where they're needing to make a decision, you guys are going to make the right decision. It's going to be replaced by happiness is what I'm saying here. Whatever it is, okay, that I'm saying. Renewal. This could be with someone that you know already, some type of renewal of a committed relation of some type of relationship here. It says it's time to get clarity about your life purpose and make changes so that you're on the right path, most di divinely suited for you. Forgive what has been without judgment. To me, that's what the Six of Swords is. Someone is going to want some type of forgiveness. So, you know, for the single ones, I feel like you guys are at a place where maybe you're just dealing with people, but it's someone that you're wanting that you're not with. And for others, I just feel like there is something else that you're wanting here um, that you don't have. Yeah, the lovers. There's a choice. There is a choice in love. True and long lasting love finds its way into your life. Ten of Cups. I told you, you guys are going to be head over heels with someone. I see love all the way. I see a divine connection all the way here in your reading, Scorpio. Oh my God, the Two of Cups. This is amazing. You're falling in love or experiencing a deepening of emotion in your current relationship. Exactly. Some of you guys are already in a, com a committed relationship. Remember, that's what I said in the beginning. I feel like you're going to either fall in love or this is going to be maybe you're going to reconsider or maybe figure out how you can feel something for someone that you're already with. I, I don't really necessarily see that happening. I feel like if you're in a long-term committed relationship and you ain't in love with the person, I don't know. But I really do feel like this does have something to do with um, a, a long-term committed relationship. There is two different people here. Um, it could be a deepening. You could be, in, you know, deep in your love for someone that you're already with. But this is going to be a complete change. You're going to have this feeling in your life. That is what I'm saying here. Last card. So where the star card talks about a wish fulfillment or a wish, this is the fulfillment of it. Um, your reading is amazing. It says, now is the time where your dreams come true. Don't worry about how it will happen. Just know that it will. So I feel like because there's so many different scenarios here, 
just let it apply in your life. You have love regardless coming to your life. This is going to be absolutely powerful, however it's going to work for you. There is someone that you're going to fall deeply head, head over heels for. Um, I see that there is some regrets, okay, could come from your end or your person in. But overall, your reading, there is about to be a spark in your life that you have never experienced, I feel. Um, and this is just going to turn your life into a completely different direction, so a beautiful reading. Um, I do see that there is going to be huge decisions that you guys are going to make. And some of you, this is going to be heart heartbreaking decisions. I do hear someone fighting. So um, I feel like this is something that needs to happen in order to put you on that path. Let's just say it that way. But overall, things are going to get better. This is going to be such an amazing time for you. So Scorpio, this is what I have. Uh, again, if you guys are new, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys back here again soon. Bye, Scorpio.